Welcome back to Nonstop Recap. Today we'll be going over the 2019 coming of age comedy Yes God Yes. After opening with a quote from Revelations about the immortality of lust, the film quickly switches gears by giving us a dictionary definition for tossed salad. Memorize it, you'll be needing it soon. We cut to an Iowa Catholic school where the shy Alice walks the halls and sees Mrs. Veda writing up multiple students for violating school uniform regulations. Veda asks Alice to be the gift bearer in the school's afternoon mass. Alice leaves for class where Father Murphy lectures against having relations out of wedlock and warns his students that the male libido is as easy to set off as a microwave. When a student asks about self-gratification, Father Murphy tells him it's a one-way ticket to eternal damnation. Alice discusses this with her friend Laura after class, and Laura criticizes Alice for an apparent obsession with the love scenes in Titanic. Alice gets home that afternoon and shares a snack with her dog before sitting down to play word scrambles on an AOL chat room. When she correctly guesses an answer as Titanic, she earns the notice of a fellow user who sends her unsolicited photos of himself in bed with his wife. Alice exits the window immediately, but curiosity eventually gets the better of her. She starts chatting with the sender, lying about her age and sending him a fake photo. He tries to engage Alice in dirty talk, but she doesn't quite know how it works. When she begins to touch herself, her mom interrupts and calls her to dinner. After church that Sunday, Alice gets uncomfortable at breakfast when her mother spills water on herself and says that she's all wet. Laura picks Alice up for school the next morning, and their friend Anthony tells Alice there are rumors about her hooking up with a boy named Wade. Alice denies the rumors and stares distractedly at Wade during Father Murphy's next class. At lunch, Anthony makes a joke about enemas, but Alice and Laura don't know what the word means. Their friend Beth soon approaches and reveals that the rumors about Alice and Wade are far more explicit than Alice realized. But since Alice missed the salad definition at the start of the movie, she doesn't even understand what the rumors are. Beth tells Alice and Laura about a four-day spiritual retreat called Kirkos and suggests that Alice should attend. Alice tries to shake it off and focus on her lunch, but Anthony and his friends start laughing when they see her licking the lid of her pudding cup. She storms away to get milk and runs into Wade with his girlfriend Heather wearing matching promise bracelets. They turn away from Alice in disgust. At mass, Mrs. Veda revokes Alice's gift bearer duties in light of the rumors and replaces her with Heather, who happens to be wearing a necklace from Kirkos. Alice later goes to confession with Father Murphy, but she leaves out her AOL encounter and admits to only minor sins. While saying her penance in the chapel, she decides to attend the retreat. On the bus to Kirkos, Alice notices a strange girl rubbing glue on herself. They arrive at the retreat where Alice lays eyes on a handsome retreat leader named Chris and begins to fantasize about his ultra hairy arms. She's interrupted by Nina, who takes her to her cabin and informs her that she'll have to give up her phone and watch. Alice, who apparently can't go four days without playing Snake, lies and keeps her phone. The retreat attendees are split into small groups, and Alice lands in a group with Chris. Father Murphy then has the attendees read a list of feelings and circle any they've felt in the last year. Alice, who sadly doesn't circle feelings like empathetic or respected, decides to be honest when she comes across turned on. However, when she notices is a microwave in the adjoining room, she remembers Father Murphy's lecture and tries to erase her answer. Her eraser is too dull to work, so she nervously crosses it out and frets as Mrs. Veda collects her worksheet. After Father Murphy regales the youths with the classic footprints on the beach story, they break for lunch and Chris spots Alice in line. She again gets lost in his hunky werewolf arms while he tells her that the retreat might make her uncomfortable at times and that that she should embrace it. Nina demonstrates this at a group meeting that afternoon when she tearfully shares about feeling unnoticed in her family, but she says Kirkos taught her to believe that God's love is enough. That night, Alice plays Snake on her forbidden phone and she gets nervous when the loud game music almost gives her away. She switches the phone to silent and soon realizes the vibrations might fulfill her more carnal desires.
desires. She starts to pleasure herself but stops when she spies the Lamb of God watching her from his crucifix. He's a real mood killer, that Jesus. The next day, Father Murphy has the attendees circle up while he plays them a love song, instructing them to imagine that the song is about Jesus. Chris vibes hard to the music and in the process lowers his hand to the small of Alice's back. They then go hiking and Alice gets jealous when she sees Chris hiking next to another girl. She pretends to fall and twist her ankle, stealing Chris's attention and prompting him to carry her to the nurse in his gorgeous Sasquatch arms. Alice gets back to her room and makes a beeline for her phone, but Nina comes in to grab Alice for a group photo. Just as she starts to leave, she hears the phone vibrating and takes it away with a warning that she'll have to inform Father Murphy. They go outside to the group photo where two boys mock Alice over the rumor about her and Wade. Afterward, Father Murphy confronts Alice about the phone and punishes her by having her do chores for Sister Louise. Alice empties the trash and mops the mess hall but soon finds Father Murphy's unoccupied office across from the supply closet. She uses his computer to hop on an AOL chat room and ask about salad tossing, but she hears footsteps before she can get an answer. She quickly shuts the monitor off but doesn't hold down the power button long enough to shut down the computer. Outside, Nina brings Alice a s'more and tells her that the attendees all burned marshmallows as a representation of purging their sins, with Alice's marshmallow representing lust. Despite believing the rumors about Alice and Wade, Nina expresses confidence in Alice's spiritual growth. That night, Father Murphy and Mrs. Veda read emotional letters from the attendees' parents, and Alice learns that her father trusts her to make wholesome decisions. On the third day of Kirkos, Chris asks his group to share personal stories of hardship. Andrew shares about getting dumped over the phone, and Gabby shares about losing her grandmother, but Alice tells an elaborate lie about her dog dying. Her story causes Gabby to sob uncontrollably and Chris embraces her tenderly while Alice jealously watches. At lunch, Father Murphy announces finding an explicit chat log on his computer. He warns the attendees that God is watching and encourages the guilty party to come forward. Alice later meets with Father Murphy and he confronts her about her feeling checklist. She admits to struggling with impure thoughts but maintains that she hasn't acted on them. But Father Murphy doesn't believe her, chastising her for the rumors about her and Wade. When the group later goes to collect firewood, Alice runs into Wade and they awkwardly stare each other down. At lunch, Alice sits with Laura and Nina but feels isolated, poking at her food while a boy named Adam collects Nina to attend a meeting for the retreat leaders. Alice tries to sweep up after lunch, but Wade openly spills his trash on the floor. When Alice rebukes him, he accuses her of starting the rumor. She points out that he hasn't done his part to deny them and begs him to defend her. After Father Murphy interrupts to speak with Wade, Alice finds Wade's promise bracelet among his spilled garbage. While mopping the kitchen floor, Alice looks out the window and sees Nina making out with Adam. Nina then drops to her knees while Adam unbuckles his pants. Alice watches intrigued and begins pleasuring herself with the mop, but Sister Louise walks in and Alice hastily exits. She later tells Laura about Adam and Nina, but Laura thinks she's just lying for attention. Laura decides that the rumors about Alice are true and that she was probably the one who used Father Murphy's computer. Out of concern for her own reputation, she decides to walk away from their friendship altogether. When Alice later returns to her cleaning duties, she again sees Father Murphy's computer unoccupied and plants Wade's promise bracelet under the keyboard. She soon hears Father Murphy coming and quickly hides in the supply closet. Watching from behind the door, she catches Father Murphy watching steamy videos and pleasuring himself in his office. She runs into Chris afterward, and he can tell that she's unnerved. He asks her to talk about it, but she's too distracted by his luscious arm hair. Chris gets uncomfortable, but Alice pounces on him, and they make out until Chris becomes aroused and runs off in embarrassment. That night, Alice sits alone during a fireside sing-along before backing away and deciding to leave the camp 
camp on foot. She makes it to a roadside dive bar and decides to go in for a wine cooler. The bartender can clearly tell that Alice is underage, but bar owner Gina gives her the nod to go ahead and serve Alice anyway. While Alice chugs her wine cooler, Gina notices her Kirko sweatshirt and tells Alice that she herself was raised Catholic, until she split from the church because she was tired of the constant threat of damnation. Alice opens up about her own fears of going to hell for watching Titanic and meeting dirty strangers online, but Gina reassures her that nobody's perfect. She gives Alice a ride back to Kirkos and suggests that Alice look for colleges out of state, where she can get away from the small town church crowd. Before they part ways, Alice asks Gina about tossed salad and finally learns just what she's been accused of doing to Wade. On the last day of the retreat, Alice sees the glue girl from the bus eating alone and decides to sit with her. They hit it off immediately, but Alice soon looks up to see Father Murphy pulling Wade from the mess hall. With Wade now being blamed for the incident with Father Murphy's computer, Laura apologizes to Alice and reveals a new rumor that Wade is gay. Father Murphy takes the podium at their final assembly and invites attendees to share about their experiences at the retreat. Wade goes first and curiously admits to using Murphy's computer. Alice appears guilty and takes the podium next. She doesn't admit to framing Wade, but she shares about the pain the rumors have caused her and tells the group that Jesus Jesus doesn't want them to live in guilt, but rather to respect one another and allow each other to be honest about their imperfections. After returning home, Alice attends church with her dad before researching out-of-state colleges online. When she sees Chris acting uncomfortable at school the next day, she eases his mind by suggesting they just be friends. At her next confession, Alex tells Father Murphy what she saw while hiding in the supply closet. He retaliates with a hefty penance, but she ignores it and leaves the chapel to go home and watch Titanic on VHS. After fast-forwarding to the love scene, she begins touching herself when she spots a handheld massager next to the couch, and we cut to black just as Alice finds a new kind of heaven. Thanks for watching Nonstop Recap.